Hello, beautiful soul. We are out here in this uh, map of the simulation, in this holographic illusion, in this uh, world that never happened, this time dimension. I, what happened in Vegas never happened. Vegas is this uh, time dimension. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas and never happened. You don't have any guilt. You don't have any sin. You, in the eyes of your creator, your perfect creation, as he created you. But he didn't create this body. He didn't create your ego. And uh, uh, your ego, you, 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 you will use everything in its disposal to kill you in time and can only exist in time. For the ego, time is real. And as long as you believe that you are the ego, you're gonna have the human destiny. Of course, this human is your prison. It's not an ego creation. It's not a, a God creation. But in the eyes of God, you are already forgiven. You don't have to ask for forgiveness. It's already done because this never happened. You have to realize that you don't have any guilt, any sin, but that's the unconscious creation. That's uh, the karma you have at this moment. That's uh, the fear. Okay. And uh, of course, that's, that has to be cleared out, but you can do that. Okay, that's the purpose of uh, the atonement. That's uh, you give it all to the Holy Spirit inside you in the dimension of being. When you enter the true meditation, the dynamic stillness, by paying all your attention to the noticer inside you, to the observer, to that part inside you, that awareness that never changed since the moment of your birth. Okay. That is your consciousness. Consciousness is uh, uh, the reason you are separated from your spirit at this moment. Okay, that's that's the separation, and you begin to. Uh, that's the beginning of perception. You move. You moved from knowledge to perception. The moment your your um, uh, the moment consciousness introduced to your uh, to to your world here. Uh, you have to realize that uh, that consciousness it is the home of the ego and all you have to do is to look with that consciousness back to the spirit so the only doorway is uh, uh, the dynamic stillness the present moment and now that's the only that's the only doorway to the eternal okay that's your only doorway to freedom and once you enter there, I described how it's true meditation. True meditation, you don't do anything. It's just being. It's just like your breathing. It's your first nature, actually. It has to come. It has to become your first nature because until it, it, until it becomes your first nature, you are living unnaturally and you're going to suffer. You're going to have pain, disease, sickness. You're going to be living death as all, all, as all humans because the human is your prison. You're not human. You are soul. You are spirit, you are son of God, and that consciousness that you experience, that uh, creates your perception at this moment in this world, as long as it is trapped within the body, your will is trapped within itself, and you are not free. Okay, and literally, uh, you're powerful beyond any measure, and you have to awaken to that power now. It has to happen now. You have to, to really fight for your freedom, but it's a different kind of fight. You fight the matrix with consciousness and frequency and you'll realize sooner or later in your journey that uh, the only way to fight the matrix is to surrender as uh, I told you back in the days. I'm the way, Christ is the way. I already overcame this world once, I'm gonna overcome it again and you're gonna all overcome it together because I'm teaching you yourself, your true self which is Christ your higher self, which is a son of God, and when you adapt this mind in this uh, uh, in this simulation, in this matrix, you literally win the game. Okay, and uh, uh, you have to you have to literally realize that it, it's there is a way to beat this game to not die to overcome this world and of course you don't overcome this world through death as we're getting teached 
in a lot of religions. You overcome this world through life by choosing the spirit within you as God created you by returning to the truth of what you are. The doorway is the present moment, the now, the doorway to the eternal. And uh, your only purpose in this simulation is to, to transcend this whole uh, this whole time dimension. Okay. This, the only doorway is within you, and within you is everything you need, all the tools. There is a part within your mind which is the Holy Spirit, which you can never shut down, even though you can uh, um, move far, far, far away and obscure it, you can never close it completely. That's the Holy Spirit, that's a part within your higher mind that communicates directly with, uh, um, with you from God. Okay, it, uh, it is uh, in the altar of your spirit and communicates directly with, uh, within you and uh, brings you um, information from the mind of God. Okay, brings you, brings you uh, the help you need and that's already inside you. You don't need to do anything. All you have to do is to have the willingness to choose that part of your mind within yourself. Believing that your thing with your brain is an, an ultimate limitation upon your hard mind. Your mind, if you believe that you think with this brain, this brain is actually a prison in your greater mind and in your true creative force. If you believe that you are thinking with the brain, you are placing the ultimate limitation upon your mind and your thoughts and your creative power. If you have to let go of human, you have to transcend the whole entire human. In your transcendence, it's a little bit um, paradoxical. Your transcendence is a little bit paradoxical because you leave this body, you move back to your spirit, your consciousness is back to the eternal, to the timelessness, and you play this body, but uh, you, you, are, you are playing him uh, outside, from outside. You are not in this world anymore. You are, in the, you are in the heaven on earth, okay? And you bring, you are a portal between the two worlds, and you bring heaven on earth. Okay, that's your only mission. Your only mission is to end time and death. Your only mission is healing here, healing with the Holy Spirit. Everything else needs correction. Everything else needs correction because you can't bring fundamental change unless you transcend this whole entire world and you come back one with the mind of your creator and um, co-create healing with the Holy Spirit. That's your only function. Everything else, else is ignorance. Everything else, you need to keep moving forward. Uh, share my mind and you will beat this game. Have faith, have faith. This goal, ask for a lot of faith, but once you accept the truth, once you accept, once you accept the Holy Spirit within you, you are, never, you are never alone. You give everything to the master teacher that knows everything. That, that knows what's ha gonna happen in the past, present, and future, and how it's gonna affect everyone and everything else, and in every timeline. And you give it to him that he doesn't make any mistake, and you just, you just uh, move around. You, you are doing, actually, everything you do is effortless. You, you experience uh, reality with effortless effort, and you do so little, and he does so much, you have to accept that great power within you. Don't block it. Don't put any ego on it. You have to become egoless eventually. The Son of God is egoless and you have to become egoless. You have to, to unite with your Creator and unleash the full power of your Creator into this human experience and do what uh, you are supposed to do because the voice for God always does and operates through you for the best of everyone, for all humanity, for all mankind, for the freedom of all, to set all consciousness, all souls that are trapped within those human bodies, set them free. This world needs salvation and nothing more. Everything else is, uh, is needs correction again, okay, because uh, uh, this, this, is, this world is an attack on God. It's literally an attack on God. You have to let go of it. The only way to beat this world is to let go. To let go, to transcend it, and uh, enter the new, the new world which is behind this veil of illusion that you perceive with uh, these uh, uh, five senses. You can imagine um, 
Uh, you can use the analogy of your body as uh, the analogy of uh, YouTube, for example, or the PC. And uh, your current machinery that you have at this moment perceives this. Uh, it, it, it's actually a prison, uh, same prison as uh, the internet for you as human. You know, it's uh, it's uh, the internet. It's the matrix of the matrix. The YouTube, for example, it's a wormhole. You can choose different timelines into the matrix of the matrix. The same is though this reality. This reality is exactly the same, and uh, you have to transcend this body. The only way out is in. You can follow in all my social medias. I show you the way because I'm in the mind of God. I'm one with my Father, and uh, the Prime Creator loves us all infinitely. It's holiness. It's innocence. Uh, God is love, peace, just peace. Peace, such a deep peace, such stillness that you, this world disappears in the presence of this peace inside you. And uh, God is love and nothing else. Just don't misunderstand God with the madness of uh, the human, uh, uh, of, of, the, of the ego, of the human, uh, of the human mind. Okay, the God and uh, human have nothing in common. The mind of God and the mind of ego that makes you believe that you are human have nothing in common. Okay, love and fear have nothing in common. Actually, fear is an illusion. Fear is just the separation from love. Fear doesn't exist. That's why in the presence of true light, the darkness abolishes it. The devil, for example, that you created, in the presence of your true self, which is light, which is as God created him, in the presence of your true self, that uh, devil is just getting, uh, you know, abolished. It doesn't even exist, you know. It's just an illusion. It's it, what you are doing at this moment, and you have to really understand that is that th this reality is paradoxical. There is no war. As long as you believe that we are in spiritual warfare, and then there is war. All those are system of controls. The, there is no war. Everybody that's that's saying with you that there is a spiritual warfare. It's. Um, it's literally uh, a system of control because whatever you believe you create and if you create war you keep perpetuating the veil of illusions there is no war beautiful so truth the mind of god stands above the battleground and waits for you to choose it okay it, it just waits for you to choose it there is no war the war is between two illusions you, you, we really have to understand that it's super important because you are the creator of your of your world and you can either make illusions which of course doesn't exist you can either change if you think that you can create in this world you can change the, the layers of this simulation with your lower mind which of course uh, can use the law of attraction and change the layers here but don't don't uh, don't be de don't believe in that delusion and you think that you can uh, create with a different will than your creator you don't create anything you just make illusions and this world never happened and you have to really understand that you can create different with a different will than your creator because whatever you do is an illusion it's nothing real it doesn't have reality okay and uh, you know, we have to really understand that it, it is the war between two illusions and as long as you create this war you, you keep creating the veil it's you that you create the veil <laughs> that's why your salvation is taking so much time you can choose it now and your whole life is gonna get transformed you're actually gonna play, be with a you're gonna play here with the body but you, you are not even in this world okay you're like uh, the serpent wolf we are like in and out of this world but there is no goal and you have to to understand that because uh, there is uh, god is only love and peace there, there is no goal you create goal and you have to stop doing that because you create your death and in in all my social medias like this the end of time the end of death but you have to grasp the teachings and share my mind share the ideas because the more you share the ideas the more real are going to become in your reality and the more power you're going to become and the more you're going to have an increased faith and of course your faith is not going to be blind the holy spirit he's going to show you everything the master teacher is going to teach you uh lessons that are not from this world my teacher is not from this world i'm i'm my teacher the ultimate um uh, 
a manifestation of the Holy Spirit is Christ, and Christ is the end of this world. Okay, it's it's uh, your true, 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 true self, and eventually you'll have to get there. You have to to accept the atonement of Christ, so you can beat this world. And whoever whoever comes along, I'm not your leader. I'm not your follower. I, I'm not teaching you ego. I'm not teaching you ego. I'm teaching you how to beat this game, and it's all within you. You beat it by returning to the mind of God. You have to get there. And it's possible. It's uh, not only possible, you'll see me do it in front of you. It's happening right in front of you and you will do it together with me. It, no one is so special. No, in the eyes of God, we are all the same. We are all equals. And if I can do it, you can do it too. And we can actually do it together. And you have to understand, I'm not your follower, I'm not your leader. That's a mechanism of the ego that is trying to kill you into the time dimension. I'm just you. And everybody is you in another time and space. Okay. But uh, you have to, to pay attention to my teachings and really have an open mind to grasp that. Because you see that girl over there? Yeah. You see that, those kids, that family? All those people are, uh, are me in another time and space, trapped within this holographic simulation. Those people are your brothers, son of God. And uh, if you grasp the teachings, you have to, to get on board because we have to set this world free. Okay, we have to bring back love, peace, life, uh, immortality, eternity into this world of death into this illusion we have to bring the truth back so with that being said this is a video about uh, the end of time and the end of death we're constantly going to teach that till the end of time till, till the second coming i'm gonna be here and i'm gonna be teaching that because my purpose is to awaken christ and uh i'm gonna be teaching that to all uh, of you that um, you are resonating with the message and if you do that if you do resonate with the message, make sure you say in the whole world that uh, here we touch the end of um, um, time and death. And when I'm saying here, I mean, I mean literally in all my social media. Okay. So with that being said, peace and glory.